you have questions, I may have answers. Hey everybody, welcome back to Audio Epidemic. I am Jay Gabs and we are here with a new segment for you. Today, I am going to be answering questions. Well, today I'll be answering one specific question to be more accurate. What I've been doing is going through, kind of scouring all our social media our comments and other forums and groups that I partake in and picking up on what are the most commonly asked questions by other guitar players. I like to contribute as much as I can in a lot of these communities. If I can offer something useful as a mentor or as a teacher or as just another guitar player out there who's got you know, some kind of other insight, then I like to try to do that. And that's what this channel is about as well. Um, it's about getting everybody engaged and helping each other out. You know, everybody who has been engaging with me and, and within the channel, it's been tremendously helpful for me. And in return, I like to try to give that back. So this new segment doesn't really have a name yet. And what I think would be cool is to let you guys out there name it for me. So we're going to build a contest around this, I think. And uh, I've got some neat prizes that we'll give away. And I'll, I'll give all the details on social media. So please be sure and check us out on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. And uh, I'll start dropping some more details about this contest. But basically, you guys help me name this new question answer segment thing. And you'll get a killer prize for it. And that'll be thanks to our friends at Wolf Music, by the way, who always take care of us when it comes to sponsoring the channel and giving you guys great prizes so that we can keep doing these contests. So thanks to Wolf Music Company for that. Yeah. So uh, what we'll do, we're, we're going to do one question per segment. And today's question I thought was a pretty cool one, actually. And this will apply to uh, quite a few of you out there who, who are subscribers of the channel and who are following us along social media and everywhere else. This is, it's a loaded question, but here's, here's what we've got so far. So the question is, what should I try and learn first when I start learning the guitar? And I can tell you that you can probably ask 10 different instructors that same question and you'll get 10 different answers. A lot of times we all tend to come at this from different angles. Now I've learned because I've, I've actually had a number of mentors who each approach something like this at different angles that I've learned there's, there's a few ways you can do this and there really is no wrong way to do it. So I'll tell you what my way is. I've learned that at this point now, I think it's most important to really imagine knowing the entire neck. What a lot of teachers will do is they'll segment the neck into boxes and positions, and they'll have you learn little bits and pieces within those boxes and positions. So let's give you an example of what you might typically see as you're just getting started. An instructor might get you, you know, we'll pick a key and they'll get you right in this box and we'll start with pentatonic. You know, a lot of times that's within the first couple of lessons, they'll, they'll teach you the pentatonic scale. Okay, so I'm gonna assume most of you guys know that one already and a lot of times what happens is you kind of start to live in that box a little bit much and then when it's time to start exploring things out of the box, it's a little bit more of a challenge because this is where you kind of explored all the neat things you could do with pentatonic and there's a lot. So it takes a while before some of the newer guys start to expand out of these positions of, of pentatonic or other more commonly used scales. So what I thought was a neat thing to do was to kind of jump ahead of that. I know that you're going to be learning pentatonic and a lot of basic strumming and picking techniques. You have to. So why not have this little idea of mine also be somewhere in those first couple of lessons or you know if you're teaching yourself this should be one of the first things you really incorporate into your lessons. So what it is is simply beginning to know all the notes of the fretboard. And the way I would do this is simply break it down. I have what I like to do, the way I practice. It's it's called key of the day. That's how I refer to it. I don't know that it ever actually has a formal name, but the key of the day, and I'll pick a key. For this particular example, we're gonna start with the key of E, which means all the practice that I'm gonna work on today, my exercises or any number of things I'm doing, scales, songs, whatever, I'm gonna try and stay within that key. And what's happening right there is that I'm expanding my understanding of that specific key in a number of different ways. So the first thing I do is I try to find the E note everywhere on the neck, okay? And we know that those first 12 frets is all we really need because once you get down to this 12th fret, it basically just starts all over again. So you really just kinda of wanna know where all the E notes are in this first portion of the neck. So what I try to do with a metronome starting from my sixth string, which is my open E. 
I try to find the next E. So what you saw was basically every E note that happens around my neck in those first 12 frets. And the way you do that, you kind of beat it to death per session, per exercise, per practice. So for this practice, I'll have a slow click going. And especially when I'm learning and I don't know where all these notes are yet, it takes a lot of time to find them. So you go with a slow click on your metronome. There you go. So that was E. On top of all that, I'm gonna be working on my E pentatonic scale. I'm gonna be working on E variations of major scale. A lot of e, e chords, E chord progressions. There's a lot of stuff you can do, but it's all gonna live in that key of E for the day. What's neat about that, when you actually kind of learn, know where all those notes are, you'll start to learn that a lot of the scales and the things you're working on can happen in different places on the neck now. And that's what I mean by utilizing this exercise to help you open up the neck so you don't get stuck living in this one little area. Now that I know there's an E here and an E here and an E there and an E there and it's on all these different strings, I can try variations of my pentatonic licks, progressions, and I can try them in different places on the neck wherever that E is that I've, uh, I've used. And so you can do the same thing with A. We'll just use that as another example. So now I know on my sixth string, my fifth fret is the A note. Now I'm just gonna carry on from there. So I'll look for every A possible. And of course, like I always say, you want to do that with a metronome, but now you've seen it. I know where all my A notes are, and now I can try some variations of my scales, my progressions, my licks, my chops, things like that, knowing that that A lives in a bunch of different places on my neck, and now instantly I've opened up my neck real estate, and I've been able to discover more ways to get outside of these boxes and positions. And there you go. What should you learn? First, start there. At least add it into what you're learning already. Now, guys, I wanna say thank you once again, and please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, give us all the love. Keep those questions and comments coming. It helps build a channel, and I wanna keep doing these questions and answers for you guys. And start thinking, what do we wanna call this segment? Because I kinda wanna do this, I like it, and I, I wanna give it a cool name. For now, we're just gonna call this, you have questions, I might have answers. I don't know. We'll we'll <laughs> we'll work on it. But stay tuned for more guys. Thank you so much. This is Audio Epidemic signing off and remember J Gabs right here. I love you. I mean it. I will talk to you very soon guys. Peace out.